Mortal Fury listeners, we're back. We're back. I'm Dean. Good morning, everybody. Chris. Morning, everybody. Yep, glad you're with us again. Here we are at Chris's place. Still not in the studio, but that's just fine. I like yeah. coming over here, and uh, we might just start shooting shows here for a while. Who yeah. Knows? It's wherever it works for us. So. Who knows? Flying by the seat of our pants. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. How, how was your week, Chris? Dinner? I've had better weeks. Chris? Had some mm-hmm. challenging discussions. Discussions and with family and oh, friends. Challenging <clears throat> discussions, yeah. I've yeah. had better weeks too. <laughs> uh, sometimes difficult to explain. Very. Very. Yeah. Depending, yeah. Uh, yes. And other times seems so simple. I like simple. Yeah. Uh, what I we like talked simple. about the last show, yes. as, as uh, we drew that yeah, show to a conclusion, we were talking about the simple truths of Paul's evangel. Mm-hmm. And how you and I get rest. <sighs> yes. Thinking, okay, it's it really is this simple. And we get all these yeah. outside voices that kind of bleed in and steal that from you sometimes. And you have to remind yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the simple message that I read from Paul, yeah, that's the only thing that gives me peace. That life that he's talking about that comes only from Christ, that's... The only thing I find peace in mm-hmm. that gives me, like what you said, okay, it's okay. Take a breath. We're okay. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is it? We um, we don't live by we don't live by perception. We live by faith. Right. And the perception sometimes around yes. us is pretty chaotic. Oh yeah. Always. Uh, yeah. Always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Well, let's read some. Step into some faith here. Yeah, I think Chris going to read some of these verses, uh, right? He had some yeah, picked out. Um, I love it. Let's read some of these verses that we think are simple. Okay, let's uh, let's do uh, Romans five eighteen nineteen. This okay. is a classic one we love from the Concordant Literal New Testament. Consequently, then, as it was through one offense for all mankind for condemnation, thus also it is through one just award for all mankind for life's justifying. For even as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were constituted sinners, thus also through the obedience of the one, the many shall be constituted just. Um, You and I like to uh, go to um, a paraphrase called the message, Mm -hmm. and we like to look at some of these verses in the, the message, and it kind of Sometimes sums it up in a neat way. Here's the paraphrase of the message for Romans 5, 18, 19. Here it is in a nutshell. Just as one person did it wrong and got us all in this trouble with sin and death, another person did it right and got us out of it. But more than just getting us out of trouble, he got us into life. One man said no to God and put many people in the wrong, and one man said yes to God and put many in the right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, it's the same group of people. The focus there is you know, what God's doing through Christ and things like that. But as far as the people that it's considering, the many, it's the same mm-hmm. group of people. Yeah, the many is the same. So it's not, yeah, it's not fair to say all is under... The bad, the message, and, yeah, and just there's bad few, happened to everybody, but yeah. just a few good things are going to happen for them. No. And that's up to you. That's where, <laughs> that's all that confusion that we that we live with now, mm-hmm. how all that gets turned uh, to where somehow it's just all up to you, and it's clearly you that's going to save yourself. Right. Let's get in our verse. Uh, Colossians in 1, 19, 20. You want me to read? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Concordant. I'm going to look up something else. Okay. For in him the entire complement delights to dwell, and through him to reconcile all to him, making peace through the blood of his cross, through him, whether those on the earth or those in heaven. I love Mm -hmm. that word all in there. It makes it kind of simple. Uh, Let's... Jump over to uh, the message. We're going to look at Colossians 1, 19, 20 there. Same thing I just read in Concordant. 
This is a paraphrase. So spacious is he, so roomy, that everything of God finds its proper place in him without crowding. Not only that, but all the broken and dislocated pieces of the universe, people and things, animals and atoms, get properly fixed and fit together in vibrant harmonies, all because of his death, his blood that poured down the cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the broken and dislocated pieces of the universe. Mm -hmm. Get all put back together through that one act. Um, and that seems simple to me. It is simple. So what are things that confuse it? Uh, what do we... Um, well, I know growing up as a young man, it got confusing to me because I had people telling me what was necessary for me to do. Mm -hmm. And I found those things very difficult to, I could do them for a while, then all the guilt would come back mm -hmm. in, and then I would think, oh crap, I was right. so serious, so I, thought I need to double down on my efforts, I need to get this right. So there again, what is there? we can look right away, What or ask, start asking the question, what does that have to do with anything that Paul's talking about all through his writings, about what God did in his son and all that? Because uh, we all struggle with, that's sin management. Okay, so you're talking about a system of sin management. Everybody's familiar with that, right? Yeah, let's... Um, Who out there doesn't know we don't all miss, right? We all miss. I, I, I guess some people don't, maybe... Yeah, you know, how about Paul's telling are us Are we going to grade that, them uh, now? We grade sin. You're just talking about sin management. What's that got to do with what Christ did? So, right. there again, that speaks to, is it up to now Chris? Was He's in a system trying to figure out, how do I get out of that? How do I save myself, ultimately? Right. We need go to this clip I take a minute here I'll pull this up we'll show you a clip here of a common teaching yeah that gets people that confuses it a little bit yeah all right going to the clip now there's gonna be a lot of people in heaven that maybe misunderstood some things but there's some things you cannot get wrong or you lose everything what you can't get wrong is what is required to be saved yeah, so there the um, the clip kind of it's sin management is all this guy's talking about. His mm -hmm. whole sermon, it's over an hour. It's all about sin management. And the key is what is required? What do we have to do to be saved? Um, which is just a confusing thought because a real true salvation, if you really need saved from something, even in a relative view, something tragic would happen, you need saved. You're, you're going to get saved by something. Mm -hmm. You had no hope. You needed saved. That comes right. from without you. Salvation and how God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, conciliating the world to himself. Mm -hmm. God was doing this in his son for everyone. There's nothing for you that is required. You don't have to join the right system or... Um, learn the right thing from the right denomination, mm -hmm. whatever their system is. That's all those confusing things um, that you get into. Because within all those systems, they'll point the finger at each other and say, no, they don't have it right. You've right. got to do it this way, or you're not saved. Paul says, he's clearly saying, I mean, it's maybe it's fascinating to look at it, but he's saying, no, this happened for everyone. Right. And he goes on to say that each is going to learn that in their own time and you're going to realize that it's a thing of God. So.